Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Morning Scriptures. I hope you are all having a wonderful day so far. Today we are on Numbers chapter 27, and it is titled, The Daughters of Zelophehad. Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Macher, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terzah. And they stood before Moses and Eleazar, the priest, and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no son? Give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right. You shall give them possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it. And it shall be for the people of Israel a statue and rule as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into the mountain of Abiram and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy as the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah, of Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in. Both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar, the priest, and the whole congregation. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. Numbers chapter 28, the daily offerings. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, command the people of Israel and say to them, my offering, my food for my offerings, my pleasing aroma, You shall be careful to offer to me at its appointed time. And you shall say to them, This is the food offering that you shall offer to the Lord. Two male lambs, a year old, without blemish, day by day, as a regular offering. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. Also, a tenth of an ephah, a fine flour, for a grain offering, mixed with a quarter of a hin of beaten oil. It is a regular burnt offering which was ordained at Mount Sinai for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Its drink offering shall be a quarter of a hen for each lamb. In the holy place you you shall pour out a drink offering of strong drink to the Lord. The other lamb you shall offer at twilight, like the grain offering of the morning, and like its drink offering you shall offer it as a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Sabbath Offerings On the Sabbath day, two male lambs, a year old without blemish, and two tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering mixed with oil and its drink offering. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. Monthly Offerings 
At the beginning of your month, you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs, and a year old without blemish. Also, three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering mixed with oil for each bull, and two-tenths of fine flour for a grain offering mixed with oil for the, the one ram. And a tenth of fine flour mixed with oil is a grain offering for every lamb, for a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Their drink offering shall be half a hen of wine for a bull, a third of a hen for a ram, and a quarter of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of each month throughout the months of the year. Also, one male goat for a sin offering to the Lord. It shall be offered beside the regular burnt offerings and his drink offering. The Passover offerings. On the 14th day of the first month is the Lord's Passover. On the 15th day of this month is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no ordinary work, but offer a food offering, a burnt offering to the Lord, two bulls from the herd, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. See that they are without blemish. Also, their grain offerings of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah of shall you offer for a bull, and two tenths for a ram. A tenth shall you offer for each of the seven lambs. Also, one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you, and you shall offer these beside the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a regular burnt offering. In the same way, you shall offer daily for seven days the food of a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and his drink offering. And on the seventh day, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no ordinary work. Offerings for the Feast of Weeks On the day of the first fruits, when you offer a grain offering of new grain to the Lord at your Feast of Weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old. Also, their grain offerings of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah of, for each bull, two tenths for one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat to make atonement for you. Besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, you shall offer them and their drink offering. See that they are without blemish. Numbers chapter 29. Offerings for the Feast of Trumpets. On the first day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. It is a day for you to blow the trumpets, and you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish. Also, their grain offerings of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for the bull, two tenths for the ram, and one tenth for each of the seven lambs with one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you, besides the burnt offering of the new moon and its grain offering, and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and their drink offering, according to the rule for them, for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Offerings for the Day of Atonement On the tenth day of this seventh month you shall have a holy convocation and afflict yourselves, you shall do no work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, one bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old. See that they are without blemish, and their grain offering shall be a fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for the bull, two tenths for the one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of atonement, and the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and their drink offerings. Offerings for the Feast of Booths On the fifteenth day of the seventh month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. And you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Thirteen bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old. They shall be without blemish. And their grain offering, a fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah, for each of the thirteen bulls, two tenths for each of the two rams, and a tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the 
second day, twelve bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and his grain offering and their drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without blemish, with grain offerings and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without blemish, with the grain offering, and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offering for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, beside the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day, you shall have a solemn assembly. You shall do no ordinary work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord, one bull, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without blemish, and the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lamb in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, and his grain offering, and his drink offering. These you shall offer to the Lord at your appointed feast, in addition to your vow offerings and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings, and for your grain offerings, and for your drink offerings, and for your peace offerings. So Moses told the people of Israel everything, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. All right, everyone, that is the end of Numbers chapter 29, and tomorrow we will start with Numbers chapter 30, and I hope you all have a great, wonderful, and blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.